Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Cream of Cards TV. The Penny Magazine gave out these original trade cards featuring some of the greatest 1920s cinema stars and fashion icons when the movies were quite new, fresh and inspiring. Never underestimate the power of your humble YouTube videos or motion pictures. We can actually start trends too, like the movie idols pictured on these cards. We now have the power of radio and the cinema and television in the palm of our hands, thanks to YouTube. Okay, I'll give you some examples. Five years ago, I made a video of an animated chimpanzee that made a drum beat sound using its mouth on my other YouTube channel. Okay, it sounds silly and ridiculous, and it is, but it was viewed nearly a million times. But the best bit was that just a few months later, Cadbury Swepps released a popular viral television advert of a gorilla playing the drums. Now is that pure coincidence? I also released a video joking about promoting our YouTube videos by ink stamping messages on banknotes and dollar bills. It was just purely a joke, but lo and behold, just a few months later, someone had opened a popular Flickr account and a website devoted to money graffiti. And not only that, the Occupy Wall Street movement also started ink stamping messages on dollar bills. Not that I share their politics, but you see my point. Us ordinary people can actually start trends, or at least spot them early on, whether we intend to or not. We're not just passive consumerists anymore, we're actual producers as well, and I think that's quite exciting. What I find really fascinating is that instead of the internet killing people's interest in the past, as implied by technology adverts trying to sell us the latest gizmos, our futuristic information age is doing the complete opposite. It's fueling interest in everything retro and nostalgic. But if you think about it, logically it makes perfect sense. Because the information superhighway is just making our history more readily available, more easily accessible to everybody, thanks to websites like YouTube and Wikipedia. And so people, young and old, are rediscovering early music videos, fashion styles, and of course, history makes up 99% of our world anyway. But check this out, the internet has even given birth to a whole movement. The steampunk genre that actively encourages people to mix futurism with the past, a kind of multimedia version of music mixing and mashups, which is a key ingredient of creativity itself. So although we might be interested in something that is rather niche and nerdy, like silent movie car collecting, we don't need to change ourselves. We can effectively turn something that is old-fashioned, as in the case of these early movie stars, into the latest fashion craze. So you could be making some simple video in some back room somewhere, but that video could literally change the world without you even realising it. How cool is that? Thanks for watching. And if you want to find out more about the movie icons and trendsetters from the 1910s to the 1920s, please don't forget to check out my YouTube channel.